What do I want to be doing for the next five, ten years? How do I want to navigate time with my life and my family? Wow. <laughs> this is so exciting. I know. Oh my god. We did it. The weather is finally beautiful in New York. It is the biggest revenue generator in my career right now, so I gotta be on top of that. And who's loving the weather the most? Is it you? All right, we are back home, and this is really maybe one of the most exciting days. I don't know if you can hear that. But our fire escape is done, and we are getting our light, main light source back. They're starting to take that off right now, and I am beyond excited. It's been, obviously, again, we live in between buildings here in New York, so you only get front and back light. No side windows. That's called New York City, people. And we aren't on the high floors, so we're getting this back, and this is going to be lovely, so stay tuned. This is coming off, and I am excited. What'd you end up getting? Um, wow. <laughs> Can you just take a second? No, and I'm so hot. Oh. I need to like- Is it hot out? I mean, you when you over, one. I overdress. You do? Ow, ow, ow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my God. That was winter, you got a coat, you got a sweater. It, everyone's it's cashmere. It was so cold this morning. Hi, baby girl. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you basking in the daylight, huh? Wow. And we'll get them cleaned on Monday. Oh my God. Is it not so different? Wow. It, oh doesn't my this God, feel let there be light. So great. And it's not even a blue sky day. Totally. It's like so totally overcast. overcast. It's gonna be oh, just my God. lovely in here. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome. This oh. is very exciting. <laughs> Taylor's providing the soundtrack as usual. This is so exciting. I know. Oh my God. We did it. Wow. Oh, you're like so clammy back here. I just told you I'm sweating. <laughs> Full of clamor. Oh my God. I know. Wow. And really? once these are clean too. Yeah. And then on. Can't wait to have my lunch over here. I know. And on Monday, we'll get this off the bottom one. Amazing. Which no one's ever seen because they built it under there. It was always been closed. We've never seen it open at the new glass. That's crazy. I know. Hi, cutie. Girl. Someone was at the park listening to jazz. You were at the park listening to jazz. How was your nap? Did you have a nice nap? You were at the park listening to jazz, right? You were at the park listening to jazz. What was your favorite song? What's your favorite instrument? <laughs> Wait, you're just loving that. the daylight? Okay. 3.4 million people watched Coco's match and 2.3 million people watched, watched the, the final for the men's. And usually the Joke men's the final is like way more... No, Talking US Open. What do you think about US Open? Wait, Wanna go next year? Today's morning coffee was amazing. Sat right here under the daylight, but the windows are so dirty. So these guys are here to clean and this is gonna make a world of difference. All right, you've heard me talk about this before. I'm telling you again, because these supplements, you can't just take one, you gotta have consistency. I've been taking this stuff for over a year or about a year now, somewhere in around there, and I'm loving it. This is Rituals Symbiotic Plus. It is a pre, pro, and post biotic. If you don't know, probiotics help support immune health because 70% of the immune system is located in your gut. So getting there properly and Loading it with probiotics is super important. The things that can throw your gut off are one, medications like prescription antibiotics that can affect your gut. Things such as stress, which I suffer from, travel, which I do a lot, poor diet, all these things, they really affect the gut, which internally affects you. So it's important to maintain a healthy gut and Symbiotic Plus really helps you do this. You just need one capsule daily, it's shelf stable, you don't have to refrigerate it. And the beauty of it is you can take it any time of the day with food, without food. It just helps you out in the end. As always, these guys are giving you a deal. I'm leaving it right down here, 30% off your first month if you use my code, which is BF30. Get on board. You know I love the other, the other offerings they have too, but this one, my favorite, Symbiotic Plus. Whoops. Ah. 
the weather is finally beautiful in New York. Mm -hmm. Not so hot, just perfect. And who's loving the weather the most? Huh? Is it you? Is it Baby Claude? Does Baby Claude love the weather? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's getting so interactive with her little looks and her head turns. And she's starting to coo. Coo and Ooh. giggle and hold things with two hands. Smile. Not hold things, but reach for things. Yeah. Wow, I just got home and look at these things. They are clean as could be. I don't know if you can see, but now we gotta get the inside clean, but that's next week. That is. Bar looks good. Gotta up my fake tree game. Now we can get real trees because we got sunlight. Oh my God. And that'll be the end of the construction. And now we gotta decorate style. I'm gonna take you through some of those journeys because we are style-less. And while Hannah's feeding peas at school, I am destined to get this area cleaned. New baby. New things, new stuff. Don't know if you saw the crib. Okay. The new crib is really nice. What are we building over here? Nest egg. And I've been employing Taylor to build with me. So Taylor, <laughs> here we are. There we are. We got a trusty drill. We don't know if we need it, but I found a dupe for a USM Mahler on Amazon for 800 bucks instead of $4,200. Woo! So we are about to build this money saved storage made hey all right we are making headway here this thing is looking pretty good just excited about some stylish storage to be honest all right finished building this but now gotta organize all this stuff also just put a little mobile and baby Claude's crib what do you got Paw Patrol? Man, you got a lot of Paw Patrol. I okay. yeah, also need to do a touch up here. Ready go you ready to go upstairs? Let's do it. There you go. Also, as I told you in previous vlogs, my mom sent me, or I kept all my Legos. So over the weekend, I decided to start rebuilding. Are you loving this one? Yeah. It's cool, right? What's your favorite part? This and this and this. Where does this one park? This one parks in, in here. That's right. All right, just been trying to figure out how to balance life, work, kids, back to the city, new ventures, getting this home in order. Uh, finally back here, you know, there's so many things. We're loving this, by the way. Just glorious. Yeah, switching up my business a little bit. I'm going to tell you guys a bit more about that, but kind of pivoting um, from talent management a bit and the company I built, trying to figure out how to port that going forward, but also move in a new direction and free up some more time for myself, which I think I should do a whole episode on just like how to value yourself and how to value your time and why time is the biggest currency for all of us and how to maximize that. You know, just balance, find out things that you want to do and go after them and take the risk. You know, I'm kind of just, after my friend passed away, RIP Tippy, miss you bro. You know, I grew up with him from age eight to 22, like pretty much on the daily. And it made me kind of just look at everything I was up to and decide what's important to me. And yeah, had a really kind of big deal on the table for our company, still do. I'm trying to decide what to do with that, all sorts of things. Anyway, it's a whole, whole big thing. I've been losing sleep over it, trying to figure out what's best for me, what's best for me and the family, what's best for me and my wife and our relationship, and just trying to understand how to move forward. So it's a lot. There's no right or wrong, there's only the way forward. So I'm just trying to, put those puzzle pieces in place and get it together. Yeah, figure out what's next. What do I want to be doing for the next five, 10 years? How do I want to navigate time with my life and my family? So yeah, kind of creating this whole flight plan, developing a couple new avenues of business, 
pushing out of some that I was in into others that I want to be in um, that I kind of been planting the foundation and seeds for for a while. So there's a lot going on in here. I'm not sleeping too much. Kind of using the nectar of the land to keep going through my day. But anyway, so we're going to sign off on this video because I don't know. I haven't even been like motivated to pick this thing up. I've just been so in my head on everything and it's been a little tough to I haven't posted an Instagram post in four days, which might seem like nothing to you, but it is the biggest revenue generator of my career right now. So I gotta be on top of that. So just being transparent that I need to find the passion within again to take this to the next level and invest in myself and do it. So if you wanna hear more, leave some notes down there, thoughts, comments. I know you got negative comments, some of you people. I'm here for them. Just motivates me more, so stay tuned for next one. Next one's gonna have way more info on where we're headed.